Welcome back to Dino Outdoors. Here I have an old tire. Tire's pretty rough shape. Rim's in kind of rough shape, but I'm using this one just for illustration purposes. I'm going to be trying out my Harbor Freight tire changer. And uh, I won't be using this tire, but this is the only one I had available to try out and review the tire changer that I picked up for 31 bucks from Harbor Freight. So let's go ahead and get the bead broke. All right, we got our tire set up on top. It sits over the top of that little lip that's on that base down there. I'm gonna get this behind, just behind the rim. Get your breaker bar in there. And press down. And that one broke real easy. Make sure your rim is sitting just over this here. Right up against it. Come down on the other side. Yeah, that works pretty good. Let's try the other side. It's going a little harder, but it's coming. There it is. And she's broken. I got my settings here in the middle and the top, and this is a 15 inch rim. It's a 235-70R15. And it's been on here for quite a while. I'm pretty impressed how well it broke off of her. Let's go ahead. All right, the next step is to place your tire over the top. And you want this pin going through one of your bolt holes. And your lug nut holes. And this piece goes over the top. Tighten it down. And what the instructions say, give it a little snugging. So this is my first time using this. After watching some reviews, it looked like it worked pretty easy, so let's give it a shot. We're gonna lube it up a little bit here. Just some soapy water. You gotta place this end underneath the tire. You want this to be down in that hollow spot. Pick up and walk it around. Okay, one side. Go ahead and do the same thing here. The tire up in the right spot. Thank you. 
And there we have it. That actually went really easy. When I tried my Next step you want to do is put a bunch of soapy water on the bead, both sides. Get it lubed up real good. You're going to want to use this end of the bar. This will go over the rim. Your bead goes up against here. All right, so get it set in there like this. And then you're going to want to keep that bead right behind there and just turn around and just keep going and keep this bead once it's on in your channel here there's a recessed channel where you want your tire to sit for space This side's the same way. Let's get it started. Put this piece on your rim. Tire goes up against here. Keeping some pressure down. Now on a new tire, it'd go on a lot easier than that because they're a lot more pliable. But this was just for demonstration purposes only. So what I recommend is Harbor Freight Tire Changer for 31 bucks. Definitely. Well, I hope this review helps you out, makes, helps your decision. And whether or not to purchase one, I recommend it. For 31 bucks, you can't go wrong, I guess. Just need a solid place to mount it in the garage where you can have some space to walk around. Hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching, and remember, get outdoors with Dino.